at my office a couple weeks ago and we talked about God. He says, come on, for example. And Sam was started going to a church a while back and then he moved to Colorado for a while. And he was working outdoors with the phone company, right? And uh, it was snowing. And he said, it's three feet of snow working outside, it's crazy. So he was storing stuff in the storage center over here. And he realized, he looked at the church building and he said, the building looks like a penguin. <laughs> and so the next day, he came over to look at the building because he's so fascinated with architecture, realized it was a church and started coming, uh, coming a while back, but started coming, you came back in August, correct? Hmm? So I'm going to ask if um, Sam could share, and he said he needed an hour. I gave him five minutes. <laughs> so, so if he could share about why he's getting baptized and his life. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I was thirsty and hungry for to send to God's words and to find the third place. I was looking around and just as the pastor said, I was there in a storage other side of the street and I saw a nice building. But that evening I couldn't see the cross. And I said, I should come to see, you know, I was doing the design on t-shirts, clothing, thing like that. Maybe, you know, Give, give me ideas on this design. And the next day I came past us, I saw the cross say, hey, stop, here is your station. And I go back and say, it's a church, beautiful. And I start to come to church every week. So every week, wake up, make up, dress up, and Go get the, you know, strong messages, beautiful songs, music, beautiful people. Give their share, share their love, love. Sorry for my language. Share their love, share their friendship, and get power, get relaxed, get out of church, go to your life. You get everything, but I get good could give good, better testimony if I invite somebody to the church, some of my friend, relative, co-worker. But I don't do it, just you know, like a puzzle. I make the puzzle, I, I go next to the next puzzle. You know, there is many chairs. Why? Why is empty? There was nobody there. Who gonna take the people here? Me, you, you. I went days ago to buy a a magazine for right uh, about uh, Christmas, update Christmas, and get some idea, get some idea. But the big, huge news stand in the city, many sections, section, travel, science, geography, I don't know, business, whatever. And the largest section was about the crown. The magazine, gay magazine, lesbian magazine, and other. There is no any magazine about the religion. Who do they buy these books, this from the thing like that? My friend, your cousin, your neighbor. But they don't know. They don't know there is a place like this. There is, they don't know the holiness. They don't know the good people. We should invite them there. We should explain them. We insist. I told the one of them, said, I go to church as listen to the same words every day. I said, yes, the same words gave me power. <laughs> this is my energy. I go to listen to the same words. Come, come to us, share to see how is the power for that same words. And the other day, you know, different ideas. They don't know. We should explain them. We should take them inside. That time was my good testimony. I hope in future I will do that. And you, you are all of us the same. And the other thing I will say is about my country. I'm from the country of Iran. Over there, there is a church. Of course, not like this. We come over here, we get our power, our energy, and strong messages, and go to our home, relax, and start the next new week. 
Over there in my country, the people that want to go to church, and you know, a lot of people, they convert to Christianity. They found their own religion. They've been, been followed by policemen, by guards, by whatever. They get hurt, they get hit, kidnapped, persecuted. But still they're going to church. And they enjoy that. They like to hear music, preaching, you know, whatever. And they pray for you. They pray for you. They pray for you. They pray for a stranger. They pray for people that they didn't know them. They, they pray for people that they, they don't know them. They pray for everybody. They need to be prayed by you. I hope one day will be everything over there. As, as a normal, just. The wrong religion, go down, and we pray for them. They pray for their government, but their policemen, to, you know, the demon get out their soul from their body. And please pray for them, and pray for me, <laughs> pray for pastors. <laughs> yeah, pastor, you know, he... <laughs> ready to preaching over here. So he, he has to write many things, write again, write again, and make himself ready to get preaching. You know, it's stress. I have a stress right now, I'm talking. And how we can help him? We should be useful. We should invite the people in the church. We should, you know, just uh, the, say the fact to people, hey, there is a church, there is a life, this is the life. They don't know, really, they need your help. Try it, just. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> So you look at it as hardcoreness, as I say, and go, man, this guy doesn't. I mean, he just takes it serious. We Americans do not realize how easy we have when it comes to worshiping the Lord. And he's sensing a freedom as worshiping when he leaves. He doesn't have to be persecuted. He doesn't have to be hunted down by the government. He doesn't have to be beaten and, and, and told to, to deny Christ. That he actually prays for the ones that have and are persecuting him and his family. So making a big step to baptism is very powerful in his life. And therefore we need to be a witness to that as well too. That's why baptism is it's done in public. It's interesting how many people that actually come be baptized like during the week with no one there. <laughs> it's a public confession. That's what it is. It's public. So as we baptized uh, Sam, I just want you to realize that he can be an example for us, and also that his fire for Christ will not be smothered out, that his light will be shining so bright, that no culture and no government will blow it out. That should be our prayer. Ready to get baptized, my friend? We're doing a baptism next week as well, so if you're interested in baptism, uh, you just tell me, you can meet, uh, during the week, and then we can be back to us next week. Okay, so. Just, okay, there you go. All right, Sam, it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit.